Hello everyone, it's DA here just to iron out some things as far as the proposed changes that have been confirmed for the next update. Now if you guys would like to read more on this, I will leave a link in the description below. So starting off with a little bit of focus, residuals will now act like passives do in the current focus system. So once you activate your focus ability, all the effects will last for the entire duration of the mission. Any focus lenses also acquired or installed will also be refunded as well. So just in case you were wondering, this is one of the things that DE will be doing. Now for more information on focus changes, there is a previous video I did that outlined every school change and all the things you will be seeing in the next update. Now going on to the main course of the story, DE will be adding void to be eligible in the sortie missions and any sortie mission that starts with a void mode will have the entire thing take place in the void as well. This will bring more variation to the way we fight and how we actually go when it comes to sortie missions. So this will actually improve the difficulty level, it will improve the type of enemies we'll fight and this actually means you get to fight corrupted enemies as well. Now in the previous thread, DE noted that they are thinking about making and adding Kuva as a sortie reward and this time it has been finalized. So Kuvas will be replacing focus lenses on the sortie tables and to get those lenses you will have to play the Plains of Eidolon bounty missions. So if you guys are someone who likes to farm Kuva a lot, I still don't know what the amount of Kuva is, however I am excited to see that change and see what DE has in store for it. All Wraith and Vandal weapons will also be color customizable. So if you have a Snipetron Vandal or if you have a Wraith Valker, you can now color them and your Wraith armor will be customizable as well because I understand not everyone wants to run around the red or Saiyan colors. DE will also be looking into giving the options to remove screen shake on certain instances of combat. And I hope that DE actually goes through with this and make this available to a lot of people because I wanted that as well. I have a lot of friends who have seizures and have problems when using certain things or doing certain things in the game. And this will help a lot of people like them as well. And I hope they do the same for the Zacti screen as the shaking effect occurs and makes it a little bit crazy whenever you zoom in. I hope that covers the additional update confirmations. Let me know if you are excited to see the focus lenses being replaced in the sorties. And if you guys have more questions, please leave them down below and I will try my very best to get to them. Thank you very much once again for watching. Hope you guys like this. Hope you enjoy it. And I will see you in the next one.